Hello guys, we will see serialization in Java. There are two terms basically, one is serialization, other is deserialization. Serialization means converting an object into bytes and writing those bytes into some file. Deserialization is reading the bytes from the file and converting those bytes back into the object. So the important thing about object serialization and deserialization is it is platform independent. That means if I serialize the object on Windows operating system, it is not necessary that I will retrieve that onto the same OS. Even I can retrieve that onto some other OS like Unix. So for serialization and deserialization, the classes which are used are object output stream and object input stream. There are two methods, one is write object method, other is read object method. Write object method is there inside the object output stream, read object method inside object input stream. So this is used to write object into the file and is used to read the bytes from the file. After that, when you serialize the object, you need to remember one important thing that the class of which object you want to serialize that class should implement the serializable interface. So here the example is shown where employee class is there which is implementing the serializable interface. There are few attributes in the employee and some method is there. Now it is possible that I do not want to serialize all the attributes of employee. So if I want to exclude a particular attribute from serialization, the keyword use is transient. I will write this transient keyword before the attribute so that it can be excluded from the serialization. Demo for serialization, serialize demo class is there. Inside main method I am creating the object of employee class, employee class is already implementing the serializable interface. The values are assigned to the attributes of employee, the values are assigned to the attributes of employee. After that, I am creating the file output stream object. While creating, I am passing the path of the file in which I want to store the object. I am also creating object output stream object after that. Now at that time, I am passing the object of file output stream. Then this object output stream has a method which is write object to which I am passing the object to be serialized. And after that I need to close both the stream objects like file output stream object and object output stream object. So this was about serialization. Now if I want to deserialize the object, then code is here. Now I will create the file input stream object, I will pass the path of the file here, then I will create object input stream object the previous object is passed here. Then I use read object method of object input stream and I retrieve the object, I store that into E but I need to typecast that when it is returned because return type of read object is object. And after that on to the next slide I am displaying the contents of the object E which is retrieved. So we will implement this demonstration practically. Now this is the demo code for serialization. I am serializing the employee object. So employee class has to implement the interface serializable. Any class whose object you want to serialize, the class has to implement the interface serializable. Employee class has attributes name, SSN, number. In main method I create one object of employee and I assign some values to the attributes like name is Rayan Ali. Then SSN is there, number is there. After that file output stream object I have created and to that the parameter is the file in which I want to store the object. So this is the file in which I want to store my object after serialization object output stream out is created 
and input parameter to that is file out. Then using write object method I am writing the object into the file and after that I am closing both the streams. You need to handle IO exception here which is thrown by write object method. So right now if I see onto D drive there is nothing like employee dot ser file after I run this code object is saved in d colon backslash employee dot ser is a message if I go to d drive this file is created let me open the file the contents are not in readable format because it is not a text file. So if I am serializing the object then I cannot read it directly from the file but if I want to read the object from a file then I have to do that if, through program itself. So here is the code this is called as deserialization. So I will create employee reference e2 and now the objects I will use file input stream object object input stream object here I will pass the path of the file from which I want to read then I will pass file in object and using read object method I will fetch the object into e2 now this read object method return type is object so I need to typecast that into employee again I will close both the streams and once the object is fetched in E2, here I will print the object. Here I have to say E2.name, E2.ssn and E2.number while printing. So that I am not printing the same object which is stored. Now if I run, still it is able to give me all the values. which were stored in the previous object. So this is how an object is serialized or deserialized.